Let's get right into this one. The Los Angeles Harbor College Seahawks have arrived. They come in as the champions of the SEC South with a 25 and four record. And they are the number six seed in the SoCal playoff. And they're led by a dynamic duel of SEC South Division MVP. Sophomore guard Demetrius Douglas, who averaged 23 points per game, seven rebounds, four assists. And his teammate, sophomore forward Lewis Walker, who averaged 22 points per game. He led the SEC in rebounding with 13 rebounds per game, and he shot at a 65% clip. These two players proved to be a problem back in January when LA Harbor beat ELAC 76 to 64. Head coach of LA Harbor, Tony Cardaloza, and his high-flying Seahawks are flat out balling currently. Cardaloza was named the SEC South Division Coach of the Year. Similar stories, similar production. Huskies have a Coach of the Year themselves. SEC South Coach of the Year, John Mosley. He'll bring in some experience to this type of ball game. That should serve him and his Huskies. Huskies also have an MVP, SEC North MVP, JT Langston. When the Huskies lost to LA Harbor in January, Langston was missing due an undisclosed injury. Huskies were out rebound. The Huskies turned over the ball more than the Seahawks and they shot a miserable 35%. And the dynamic duel of Harbor, Douglas and Walker, they put up a combined 51 points. But with all that said, that was on the road at LA Harbor, coach. <laughs> Here inside the E Arena, officially in the Coach John Mosley era, the Huskies have a winning percentage of 90%. Outstanding percentage. Yeah. Uh, any coach would love to have that home record. The show of dominance is such a confident builder as you go throughout the season. And then to have it, you know, the pinnacle of it to get to the Elite Eight is what you coach for. Uh, coach, what are some factors here? What are some keys for the Huskies? We mentioned they shot miserably mm -hmm. in their previous matchup. What about here this evening? Well, Harbor has always been a tough defensive-minded team. It's kind of like a gnat at a picnic. You just can't get rid of them. They, <laughs> they do a lot of good things to just kind of muddle up the game. And that was the case when they met in January as well as two key uh, Huskies were out. Uh, sure. JT Langston and Gregory Melvin did not uh, play in that game. And uh, Demetrius was also limited with time. So it's a total different matchup tonight. I think all both teams are, are fully loaded. And it's for a chance to dance in Lidmore, California. Lemore, California. That's right. So it's win. Advance, lose, go home. It's do or die here. Moments away from tip-off, about 55 seconds away from the start of the SoCal Regional Final. It's round three coming up here on SportsNetUSA.net, the home of the Huskies. Carter Loza. 
And now for the starters for your East Los Angeles Huskies. Starting at guard, a 63 sophomore from Los Angeles, number two, Noel Scott. At guard, a 6'2 sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, number 10, John Sanders. Sophomore from Stevenson's Ranch, number 11, Corey Copeo. At forward, a 6 foot 8 sophomore from Pasadena, number 20, JT Langston. And at forward, forward, a 6 foot 5 sophomore from Las Vegas, number 24, Thankful and grateful you could join us for another installment of Huskies Basketball Live and Direct Inside Arena. The South Gym on the campus of East Los Angeles College. Dan Gudino here alongside ELAC Women's Basketball Head Coach Bruce Turner. Huskies looking to advance into the state tournament. Wow, exciting, exciting. The crowd is pumped up. Uh, electricity throughout the building and we're almost at standing room only and the tip hasn't even been tossed. LA Harbor fans, the fateful of the Seahawks have traveled well. I gotta say it's even Steven, 50%, 50% as JT Langston taps it into the front court for the Seahawks. Seahawks in their navy blue uniforms, Huskies in their home whites. Just underway, round three fight. Seahawks, they come in as the number six seed, attacking inside. Instantly, Terrell Hunt taps it out of bounds to his bench. Seahawks retain possession. Seahawks in there, uh, patented man pressure defense, nearly caused a turnover. Lobbed up inside, getting to work, a steal. First turnover. Here's John Sanders, who was lights out in the previous matchup. 26 points by the young man. Inside the Cofield, easy lay-in. Huskies open up the scoreboard, 2-0, to 19-15 to go. First half, a chance to advance to the state tournament. Inside, no good, ball being tapped for, and J.T. Langston with his first board. He wasn't available in their previous matchup. Absolutely, what a difference he makes. As you can see, great defender and rebounder. Beautiful inbound, I mean, over the top play to Cofield. He looks like he's ready to go tonight. 4-0, 18-45 to go. Langston defending Walker. They swing it left side to Moore. Douglas will rise. He's short. Sanders rebound ahead to Scott. Scott on the baseline. Puts it up, left hand reverse, and an instant timeout called by head coach of the Seahawks, Tony Carter Loza. Down six are the Seahawks. What a great start! Great defensive stops, a block. Ball never hit the floor until Scott put it on the deck one time. Came underneath with a beautiful reverse layup. You know, one of his patented moves. The timeout is really just to settle. The Seahawks down. They seemed a little uh, edgy as they go into the lane. The shot blocking and the length of the Husky seems to bother them, even on the uh, kickout passes. In their previous matchup back in January, the Seahawks won 76-64. It was one of the lowest scoring performances in the Coach John Mosley era. It was the 11th lowest scoring performance by a Husky team in 10 seasons. Currently with the basketball, it's Rodriguez. Well defended by Sanders. Douglas back to Rodriguez. Loose ball. That's Terry. A steal ahead to Cofield. 
That gets tapped out of bounds Ooh. in favor of the Seahawks. Ooh. First turnover of the game against East Los Angeles, 18.01 to go. Seahawks hustle back very nicely. That was going to be a two-on-one. Cofield was out front, but Hunt was trailing on the other side. Great response by the Seahawks defense. Benson Rodriguez will orchestrate the offense for Harbor. 17.50 to go. That's Williams in the corner. He's at the elbow now. Back out to Douglas. Douglas launches from 26 feet. Rattles that one home. Cuts the deficit oh, in steal. half. A steal. Kickball is called at the 17.35 mark. A little lazy on the inbound pass. Um, Harbor hit the three and then stole the ball in the corner. Huskies hit back to break up the easy two. Tony Carter Loza, head coach of the Seahawks in his 22nd year. Here driving as Douglas floats it up short. Walker will clean it up. So the Seahawks after the timeout, much more calm. Much Great more calculated. Mm -hmm. Ray Sanders. Denying the wing now, making it hard for the Huskies to get into their offense. Finally into JT. Inside of Hunt. Hunt fakes. Back out. That's Lindsay. Floats it up. Off the back iron twice. Tries to put it back up himself. Oh. Back the other way. Ball gets tapped out of bounds wow. in favor of the Seahawks. Great rebound by Scott inside. Three guys hanging over him. A lot of contact, no call. 16 minutes, 55 seconds to go. Rodriguez will bring it up. Lindsay following him. Left hand floater, too strong. Hunt rebound. Here come the Huskies. Sanders takes possession. Stops at the elbow. He'll launch. Too strong. Langston now. Nice touch by Langston. Offensive rebound, beautiful job by Langston following the, uh, the shot and giving a nice little feed pass to Langston, 10-footer. The road to state travels through Monterey Park, California, where the Huskies in 10 seasons are 90% winners here at home after the Rodriguez splash. 8-7 ball game. L.A. Harbor faithful, very vocal. You would think this is a Harbor home game. Oh, they got their energy going. Denying passes. Coach with a save of his player on the front row. Lindsey with the basketball. Back out to Sanders. Ten seconds on the ticker. 15.45 to go game clock. Scott has to save it. He actually steps on the far sideline turnover against the Huskies. I think if they settle down, they'll see that they have a lot of backdoor opportunities. <laughs> the Huskies, the Seahawks are overplaying the wings. And Huskies just have to settle down a little bit here. One of the better seasons for L.A. Harbor all time, a turnaround season. Last season, 14 and 11. And here they are with a 25 and 4 record. Here's Sanders going coast to coast, tries to get it in with the floater, can't get it. 15.22 left. There's Walker handing off to Douglas. That was a good drive by uh, Sanders. Back to Douglas. He'll square away. Short air balls it. Lindsay loses it. Hunt able to recover. Here's Lindsay. Nearly losing it are the Huskies, but JT Langston able to recover. 10-7 ball game, 14.50 left. First half. Round three action of the SoCal Regional. Here's Williams trying to put it up. Rebound map. Ooh. Langston soaring in, gets two blocks. Two in a row. Wow. They reset the shot clock, but they shouldn't have. And now Harbor has the ball. Langston, number one in the SCC and block, showing you why. 
14.20 to go, 10 seconds on the ticker. Driving as Douglas puts it up. Langston fighting for it, gets his third board. Lindsay attacking, Lindsay through the lane, short. Scott able to rebound it, Scott gets stripped. Here's Rodriguez. From the wing to the lane, kicks out. Wide open three by Douglas, no, Sanders rebound. 13.55 to go. Bouncing it to Scott. Scott left alone. Three point bomb, good. Ball to the corner, one bounce dribble for Rhythm, knocked it home. They're letting them play tonight. This is my kind of game. Not a lot of whistles. Standing room only offici officially. Wow. An official sell out crowd inside E Arena. Oh. Husky faithful chanting defense. Williams with the basketball. Six seconds on the ticker. Four seconds. He'll have to hurry. Hop step. Turn around. Great Shot D. clock violation. Excellent defense, Coach. Great defense. Not only by Sanders, the primary defender, but he turned the corner and JT showed. And with the length, he could not finish. Spun, hung up in the air, and the rest of the Huskies covered up. Stepping onto the court, Demetrius Caleb in for Noel Scott on the floor for the Huskies. Caleb, Sanders, Langston, Lindsey, and Melvin. Wow. Ball gets stripped and goes off a leg of a Husky turnover against East LA. Actually, a foul call. First foul LA. call was with least, least contact of the night. <laughs> 13 minutes left in this first half. Glad you could join us here on the home of the Huskies, Sportsnet USA. A steal by Caleb. Oh, he comes in the game and made an immediate impact. Langston through the contact and a friendly roll. Good. Oh, they're dangerous in the open floor. Nice deal by Demetrius Caleb just off the bench. Lead pass to Langston. He takes the contacts and put it, take the contact and put it home. Looking for the end one. Seahawks head coach Carter Loza calls timeout with 12.47 to go. Huskies 15, LA Harbor 7 here on SportsnetUSA.net. Folks are still packing in the gym. I don't know how much more we can take until it becomes a fire hazard. We got athletic director Bobby Godinas trying to direct traffic here. Uh, this might be, you know, this is this may become one of the great rivals. You know, we had uh, Kansas and Texas today, Duke, North yeah. Carolina, yeah. UCLA, and uh, Arizona and Pauley Pavilion. So a battle for Los Angeles yeah. here as J.T. Langston will try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play right. at the 12.47 mark. Huskies 15, Harbor 7. Splashing that one home. So Do many, or die, coach. Oh, so many good things happen when uh, J.T. touches the ball, even if he doesn't shoot it. Attacking and swatting oh. it down. Oh, actually, a foul will be called against Langston. Langston can't believe it. Runs to midcourt. Mm. Oh, that was a tough call because the, 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 the offensive player was coming right at him. Ran into his body, and the contact occurred, but Langston made the block up top. Now the referee is explaining to him what exactly happened. Tough call. Harbor's really good as, as kind of on a delayed penetration. Not so much like Riverside did. They just attacked. But Harbor uses the screen. They delay. They drag the screen out. So it makes the defender make a decision. Giving the Huskies a little problem right now. A little full court press. Let's see if the full court press could slow down the Huskies. Melvin to Coalfield. Skip pass far side to D.C. Here's Melvin just outside the box. Melvin's one of those players who did not play in their previous matchup back in January. Oh, yeah, he's a great commodity to have. 
uh, so long and so selfless. Williams driving, and a foul is called. 12.09 to go, first half. This might be the biggest crowd we've ever had for a Husky game. I believe so. Whistle blown. You're going to have to start selling spots against the wall in a minute. <laughs> Terrell Hunt will step on. Langston will step off. I think Coach Mosley wants to protect Langston and the amount of fouls he's got. Yeah, he's going to be counted upon to be that stopper late in the game. Okay. Rodriguez to Douglas. That's Acevedo. Yeah. Douglas driving, left hand, too short. Cofield rebound. 11.50 hmm. to go. Oh, Inside boy. the Hunt. Hunt can't handle that rifle pass. Great pass. Here's Douglas. Oh, and an offensive foul. Corey Cofield backing up the turnover. Falls on his bottom and takes the charge. Great penetration by Douglas, but he didn't pull up. His momentum kept him going right into Cofield's chest for the offensive foul. Clock reads 11.40. Full court press being applied now. Mm. Oh, intercepted straight into the hands of Douglas and a two-hand flush. Yeah, Cofield tried to look off the defender. He didn't see the uh, secondary defender coming. The full court press has been a factor against East Los Angeles College. In round three of the SoCal Regional last year, as Demetrius Caleb drops a bomb. We saw the Huskies go down to West LA College last year because the full court press was a problem. Yeah, in that particular situation, I just think he, he thought someone would be there and didn't see the defender. Actually, I think Harbor is just using it to slow them down. But they've come up with two turnovers in the last three possessions. Demetrius has come in and done a great job. Two great passes and then a very good three from the angle. 21-13. Douglas scores the, the 21 layup. 14, under 11 to go. To the corner to Melvin. Melvin having to go up high to get that one. Here's Hunt. Step back. That one is pure. Mid range game personified. So patient by Mr. Hunt. All the way to the cup, high off the glass. Great penetration, Rodriguez coming back the other way. Hunt trying to save it to Caleb. Another turnover against the Huskies. Here's Douglas. Back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez finding room, getting rejected, and he steps on the sideline. Turnover against the Seahawks. Credit Scott, he was beaten on the play, but he didn't give up. Cut up to Rodriguez at the rim, made the block. And the ball is off Rodriguez's leg. A lot of substitutions almost look like a hockey change here. Um, Rodriguez comes out for his first blow as long as well as uh, Walker for the Seahawks. Here's Sanders. Down low to Hunt. Hunt trying to find some room, find Sanders. Sanders double team to the corner. Here's Scott for three. Banks it. Bank is open, baby. On a weekend. <laughs> Saturday night hoops. Man, that was a lot of uh, contact and scrambling down. And Sanders came out with it and got the assist on the bank shot by 940 left. Here's Williams to Acevedo. To the corner to Rod. That's Douglas who steps on the sideline. Another turnover against the Seahawks. So different. The guys will push. They will step back before they make their first step. And he stepped out of bounds. Just trying to be aggressive. Sanders orchestrating the offense. 
to the elbow to Hunt. Hunt will rise. Nothing but net. So smooth, without a dribble, just faced up and ready to play. Nothing to string music. This is Williams. Over to Map. Map hands off back to Williams. Guarded by Caleb. He'll drive, puts it up, and draws contact on DC. 9.01 left, first half. It's a tough call, tough call. You know, the, the, the game is officiated now, so the offense can be more explosive. And Harbor is taking advantage of that. They're going to the rim. And to the line, doing a good job at the line. We just got word that there's about 100 people outside E-Arena waiting to get in. Good luck. That's not going to happen. Might as well tune in to sportsnetusa.net. <laughs> it's just like when you have a large family and you go to the restroom. <laughs> you lose your seat, baby. 28-18. Seahawks applying the press. Here's Sanders oh. lopping it up to Cofield. Friendly roll. Oh, baby. Nice read by Sanders. Great push. Cofield doing what he does best. Hit the lane and score at the rim. Rodriguez to Douglas. Williams floats it up. Beautiful in and shot. out and back in. Great touch by Williams. Had to avoid the charge. Put a soft touch on it. Here's Scott. Scott called for a walk, shuffling his feet. High tension inside the arena. It's not the pressure that's getting the uh, Huskies. I think it's just the indecision, the changing of the defenses. You know, makes you read and hesitate just a little bit to throw your rhythm off. Huskies over the last three seasons, 27 and 0 here at home. The last time they lost a, a game here was in the 2019 season against Santa Monica College in the playoffs. Here's Parker. Ooh. And a whistle is blown. Great hedge by the uh, Huskies. They call it kickball. Uh, but his foot was on the floor, so they'll reset the shot clock to 20. On the game clock, 7.59 to go. Down low to Walker. Walker can't get it. Loose ball. Walker fighting for it. Jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Huskies. Wow, that was a great effort by Walker. He missed the initial shot. Huskies rebounded. He scrapped to the floor. Almost came out with another possession for the Seahawks. Huskies ranked number nine in California in rebounding. In their previous matchup against L.A. Harbor, they got beat in the rebound game. Yeah. I can see why Harbor's scrappy. They're undersized, but they're really scrappy. Here's Scott holding the ball over his head. Puts it on the floor with the left hand, goes to the corner to Cofield. Down low to Melvin, going to work. Melvin fighting through the contact, can't get it. Loose ball picked up by Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to go coast to coast. Down low to Walker. Walker. 7.20 left. Eight-point ball game in favor of your Huskies. That was excellent. The Walker is a, a pillar. I can see why he's averaging almost 20 points a game. There's his Melvin from the elbow. Squares up. Dribbles twice. Hands off to Sanders, who will rise. Fading. No. Hunt rebound. Hunt fighting through the contact. Wow. Gets stripped by Walker. 6.50 to go. Man, this you go in there with the ball, you may come out missing a limb. They're letting them play tonight, baby. Parker back to Williams. Over to Douglas. Douglas averaging 23 points per game. Here's Rodriguez back to Douglas. Eight seconds on the ticker. Don't be surprised if he launches it. He does. Way off that time. Great well defense. defended by Melvin. Yes. Great defense. Rodriguez left alone. Coach John Mosley calls timeout. He's in front of the face of the official yeah. with 6.20 to go, 30 to 24 yeah. here 
on the Huskies. Yeah, he has a point. To this game has been officiated a little different on both ends, meaning they're allowing Harbor to be really aggressive inside with the hands and the push. Sometimes you get that because you're an undersized team. And the, and, the, and the referees allowed a smaller team to play. Here are the Huskies at home, all time in the Coach John Mosley era, 81 and 9, all time. I don't, I don't mean to holler in your ear, man. Okay. So, this time I was going to reset it for uh, John Mosley and his, his Huskies. They've got to be more aware, get their head around before they make their play because Harbor is changing the defenses and they're being very aggressive with their hands. I think we're up to almost nine turnovers already. Good challenge here. Exciting game, exciting times. Round three of the SoCal Regional Final. Who will move up north into the state tournament? 6.15 left in this first half. Don J. Lindsay mm. to Cofield. Back to Hunt. Down low to Langston. He'll go to work, puts it up. Does it count? It does. Now that's their padded play. We haven't seen, that was the first time tonight we've seen it. And really didn't see it much against Riverside. But that, having Langston sit right there in the middle of the lane is trouble for any, on any level. And he's, Executed tonight. Now he's trying to get the old-fashioned three-point play. Get a sense that JT Langston's going to have to have a big game if the Huskies are going to come out victorious in this one. Nine-point lead for East LA. 6:01 to go. I think he. I think the originally uh, the players thought it was going to be a wide-open game, but Harbor wants to kind of clunk it up and run the shot clock. They Here's, want less possessions. Here's Rodriguez. Faking. Great ball fake. A reset of the offense now by Williams. Over to Acevedo. That's Rodriguez faking again. He'll launch this time. <laughs> Great use of the ball fake. Escape dribble. Cofield, well defended by the Seahawks. Cofield asking for a foul. Rodriguez squaring away Ooh. again. Hunt rebound. Ahead to Langston. Catches the football pass. And a whistle is blown. Great run out for JT. Lang uh, Sanders hit him on the move. They fouled him before he was able to get in the shooting motion. So it's going to be out of bounds. Husky ball. Here's Sanders, he'll trigger inside and the ball is kicked. Oh. Clock reads five minutes, 16 seconds to go. Way out to Langston. Cofield, wide open, three, splashing that one. I think he's pretty excited about that. He had something to say to the guy in the top row. <laughs> Nothing but net. I haven't seen him show that type of range, but it's a well-needed basket. Four minutes, 55 seconds to go. Acevedo to the corner to Rodriguez. Back to Acevedo. Driving. Kicking. Wide open. And a foul is called on the Douglas three-point attempt. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go, Coach. You know, that was a tough call because... He went on the non-shooting side of the, uh, the shooter, and he felt like he kicked out. He's talking to the referee now, getting an explanation. But the refs say he actually caught him on the wrist. But uh, Harbor's doing an excellent job of spreading them out and using the kick out to get wide open shots. That was actually Jalen Williams, sophomore guard of the Seahawks. He's shooting 66% at the free throw line. Second attempt, up and good. Referee still talking to Cofield about it. Intense discussion. I think that's Cofield's second foul. And they're going to sub him out. Scott back into the game for Cofield. Scott. 
Gotta love the playoff atmosphere inside the arena. Oh, yeah. Back into the full court. 1-2-2. Two, two. Press. Huskies get it across. Near steal. It is a steal. No. Jalen Williams steps on the sideline. <laughs> Dangerous lob. Cross-court pass. And Athletic Williams nearly picked it off. Are you better off bouncing that pass instead of lobbing it? Yeah, it's got to be a little, a little more mustard on that pass. Gotcha. Bounce passes and lob passes gives the defender an extra step to get there. 4.30 left. Lindsay on the right wing. Double team comes in. Langston left alone. Too strong. It was a nice pick and pop, a little bit out of, out of rhythm. And the pass took Langston off balance a little bit. Here's Rodriguez. Defended by Sanders. Here's Williams. Four minutes to go. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Acevedo gets stamped on the board by Langston. Third block of the game by the SEC North MVP. Scott now. I think they have the mismatch with Hunt. That's the mismatch on the floor right now. Hunt backing down his defender. He'll spin. Short. Thought he got hit on the arm. Looking for the call, but it was good D by Harbor. From the corner, Acevedo splashing that one. Five-point lead Seahawks. Chopping wood at the score. Sanders from the corner. Too strong. Rebounded by Maggio. Har Harbor's in a good place now. Rodriguez. Acevedo. Tries the other side. Not a successful ball. The guards are doing a great job as they get to the top of the key of kind of hesitating. And they'll skip the ball. And the, the Huskies are having to run out and get under control. Seahawks are taking advantage of that. For the Seahawks, Jalen Williams steps off. Demetrius Douglas back in. Here's Hunt. Hunt, jumper, good. Nice play. Nice little elbow jumpers. Two thirty-five to go. How fun is this ball game? <laughs> Drive into oh, the man. cup, left hand. Rodriguez is a tough cover. Lulls you to sleep, put on the gas, and he's really good using both hands in the lane. Sanders floats it up after a crossover move. Ball out of bounds, last touch by Douglas of the Seahawks. Possession in favor of the Huskies. Sanders will step off, DC into the game, coach. <laughs> Rodriguez is playing hard, but he's also doing a lot of talking. <clears throat> uh, this gotta, is, gotta love it. Yeah. Playoff he's, basketball. He's backing it up. Hunt. Ooh. JT is soaring through. Can't get the tip in. What an awesome try. Oh, back screen almost. Put DC in a lot of trouble. Rodriguez trying to rifle one. Oh, Last touch by the Huskies, according to the officiating crew. Yeah, JT got a finger on it. A minute 56 to go, first half. Ooh. Douglas will inbound to Rodriguez. Rodriguez faking, kicking. Oh, yeah, he's out of bounds with both feet. Douglas steps out of bounds. But the penetration is so great. I see why the, the first uh, meeting was uh, so highly contested. Without JT tonight uh, protecting the rim, the Huskies would be in trouble. As it is, it's only a five-point game. A minute 40 left. Here's DC to Langston. Down low to Hunt. Hunt turns around too strong, grabs his own. He's fouled. Oh, great effort by Hunt. 
the shooter is the first one to know his offense. As soon as he let it go, he was in motion for the second rebound. Quick to it. Right back up. He's got to earn him at the line. That's been their most productive. They played a little duck in, a high-low duck in tonight. Hunt on the first one. Good. Substitution for LA Harbor is going to be number four. Hunt at the line, super reliable. 81% on the year, averaging 10 points per game. Yeah, that's his favorite spot on the floor for jump shots. You can understand why he's such a great free throw shooter. 40 to 33 with a minute 30 to go. You could just feel the energy in here. Yeah, it's important for um, the Huskies to close this half out because Harbor is in the belief that, that this is their game right now. They're close enough to believe we can win it again. Acevedo faking, shooting, air balls it, well contested. DC Watch on out. The break. Huskies with numbers. DC can't hammer it down. Last touch by Noel Scott of East LA. He wanted to put on a show, but he didn't get the lift he normally gets. And uh, he tried to throw it down with his right hand, a little bit off balance. I think he was worried about the defender who's coming from behind. Seahawks on a five-game win streak trying to advance to the SoCal Regional here playing the role of Road Warrior. Rodriguez down low to Walker. Walker used his body so well there, shielded the smaller defender and put the ball in the basket. 29 seconds to go. DC launching one. Air balls it straight into the hands of Scott. Fortunately for the Huskies, Scott there to finish it up. Nine seconds. Six seconds. Watch Douglas. He'll pull back and shoot this. Oh, he goes to the hole. Friendly roll. And that'll do it. Wow. Nice teardrop right over JT. Went for the challenge. What a beautiful finish. At the break, Huskies 42, LA Harbor 37. Sold out crowd here inside E Arena. We call it the E Arena because we got dreams of playing in bigger arenas. Big one's coming soon, coming soon. That's right. Hey, so will the Huskies survive this battle of Los Angeles? to move on up north to West Hills College in Lamore, California. Stick around. I think they will. They, uh, they've uh, gotten the test, and they realize we're in a battle. So anything that's worth having is worth fighting for. And so you've got to bring out your best here. You can't save anything for next week. And, no, you got to bring it all to the line. I think Harbor has played as well as they can play. I don't say that for the Huskies. But you got to meet that challenge. This game is still too close to relax. You get a sense that East Los Angeles just wants to escape in this one. Uh, what was the uh, what was the best thing that uh, L.A. Harbor did in the first half, Coach? Well, they limited their turnovers after the first two minutes. He called the early Coach Loza called the early timeout. Came back. You saw they play with more poise and the change of pace that Rodriguez is showing. He's going fast. He's slowing up. And it's got the Huskies uh, defenders a little bit off balance. And the sharing of the ball. You have about six guys who score for, for At one Seahawks. point in this ball game, the Huskies were up at least 10 points. Mm -hmm. uh, what did they do so well in that point? Oh, they were, rebound, they were getting stops. JT had about two consecutive blocks. Had run outs, easy baskets before the defense set. I think the game changed when they went to their, uh, the, the Seahawks went to their full court press. And that slowed East Los Angeles down. Just a hesitation, just a little enough hesitation to get them off rhythm. And uh, the wing play for the Huskies got to get a little better if we want to dominate the game. I think we have. I think the Huskies have the advantage inside with the high low. L.A. Harbor. They come in with a 25 and four record, champions of the SCC South. Huskies come in with a 25-3 record, champions 
of the SCC North. So a battle of champions, a battle of Los Angeles. Stick around, second half coming up here on SportsnetUSA.net. Back inside E Arena on the campus of East Los Angeles College. Thankful and grateful you could join us for another installment of Huskies basketball here on the home of the Huskies, SportsNetUSA.net. Dan Gudino here alongside ELAC legend Bruce Turner. Huskies squeaking by in that first half. What they did so well in the first half, they out-rebound L.A. Harbor, 23 rebounds to 13. That might be the deciding factor deep mm -hmm. into this one into the second half. Yeah, uh, the rebounds are in our favor. However, uh, the Seahawks have nine offensive rebounds, which they've uh, put in, I think, four. So we're so used to seeing the Huskies blow people out that someone to contend with them and puts a little bit of a nervousness in the, nervousness in the air here in the arena. So it's a good challenge, man. This is, this is all about beating the challenge. Be at your competitive best when it's needed. We mentioned this earlier. Huskies 27-0 here at home over the last three seasons. Okay. It'll be Seahawk basketball to start the second half. Here's Douglas going to the corner to Walker. That's mm. Mapp who will launch a three and make a three. Mm. Two point ball game yeah. ahead to Hunt. Hunt back out to Scott. Scott inside. Hunt finding Sanders alone. Short Langston rebound. Cofield can't handle the pass. Jalen Williams will reset and hand off to Rodriguez. Little Just underway in the second half, 19 minutes, 10 seconds. Little decision on a couple of plays down there. Cost the Huskies a good opportunity. The Harbor open the game, the uh, half firing with a three. Seven seconds on the ticker. Williams will have to hurry. One second. Shot clock violation, good defense by the Huskies. Excellent defense. Rodriguez looked like he had tweaked the angle, but he's moving okay for the Seahawks. On the game clock, 1840. To the elbow to Hunt. Hunt jab stepping, faking to Cofield. Cofield will rise at the free throw area, in and out, loose ball. Rodriguez mm. comes up with it. 1830 left, second half. Douglas will dribble out of the corner, defended by Hunt. High tension here inside e Arena. Douglas floats it up, splashes it. Tie ball game. 42 all ahead to Langston. Langston going to work, spinning, hooking it. No. Mm. Good position by Langston, just a, a little bit off. A chance for the Seahawks to take the first lead of the ball game. Oh, boy. Good oh, defense boy. by Sanders. Sanders getting a piece of that one. Great recovery. Rodriguez had him beat with a step. But Langston took the angle. I mean, uh, Sanders took the angle and got the block. Rodriguez will trigger. Flown it up to Douglas. Defended by Scott. Douglas off balance. No. Scott ahead. Scott going coast to coast, finishing with the left hand. Huskies take back the lead. Beautiful setup. Had the defender going full speed. He crossed in the lane, laid it up with his off hand. Just what the Seahawks needed, a turnover. This game has slowed down to the uh, Seahawks pace. Got a whistle against Sanders. Sanders acknowledging the official. 44 to 44 to 42. Thin two-point lead for East LA. A lot of explanations on the calls tonight. But boy, these guards are tough to stay in front of. 
17 minutes, 15 seconds to go. Here's Walker. Mm. Floating it up, throwing it up. Way high. Scott comes up with it. Scott racing into the front court. Losing it. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Douglas of L.A. Harbor. The battle for Los Angeles continues here on Sportsnet USA.net, home of the Huskies. He said out to Harbor? Wow. He had to point the wrong way, unless there was a foul call. Well, from my vantage point, it looked like Douglas was the last to touch it. Oh, he definitely touched it last. A lot of indecision, a lot of conversations going on. Husky bench being told to sit back down by Coach Mosley. Emotional game. Do or die here. Oh, okay. 16.55 to go. Here's Langston. Langston through the contact. Foul against Tyler Mapp. Coach Loza can't believe the foul call now. <laughs> Needless to say, neither coach is happy with the way the game is being called. We always say it here. Zebras, no yeah. best. Yeah. Um, but at this point in the game, both teams could, should, should, should know how it's basically being called. So, hey, referees could be a little nervous as well. Ooh. Second one, too strong by Langston. Rodriguez over to Douglas. Back to Rodriguez, defended by Cofield. Rodriguez dribbling with his left hand, down low to Douglas. Back outside the map, they swing it to Williams. Williams inside the paint to Walker. Walker high off the glass. Great execution. Huskies had it pretty clogged up in there, but a nice hesitation allowed the defense to fly by and get the easy basket. There's Cofield to Langston. Handing it back to Cofield. He'll launch for three, short. Oh, I think Langston's called on that one. Yeah. Being called for a push off. Mm. Yeah. Looks like both guys kind of got tied up there. But Langston got caught with his hand in the jar. Usually see the second call. Seahawks trying to take the lead here in this possession. Ooh. Back out to Walker. In the previous matchup, Walker had 25 points. Well defended by Langston here this evening. Rodriguez outside, and a whistle called against Corey Cofield. That's the third team foul against East Los Angeles. Yeah. Demetrius Caleb will, sit, will get back on the floor for East Los Angeles as Corey Cofield will sit back down. 15 minutes, 46 seconds. Down low to Walker. Walker, too strong, grabs his own. Going to fight again. Good contest by Langston and last touch by Langston. So possession in favor of the Seahawks. That ball was put in play the last time. Langston was talking to the referee. Neither was ready and the ball went straight into the post. Put him at a disadvantage. Gregory Melvin will check in. Langston being pulled. Harbor is uh, way more active than the Seahawks are on the board right now. Got another push off. Oh, actually. Stepped on the baseline. Yeah, on the baseline. So a turnover against the Seahawks. Another quick start. Scott short on that one. Walker comes up with it. Fortunate for the Huskies, ball gets thrown away. Mm. One point lead in this exciting and fun matchup here. They only put 20 seconds on the clock, but Harbor threw the ball away. I need to check my rule book what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Both you and I, partner. Back door to DC. Nice pass by Sanders off the left wing. 
Excellent dish by Sanders, rifling it in. Walker goes to work. Outstanding up and under without even the dribble for Walker. Here's Sanders. Melvin launching, splashing it home. From about 30. Wow. Confident on that one. Yeah, he walked right into that one off the transition delay. Nice feed. Map to Douglas. Defended by Scott. Here's Rodriguez launching one from 24 feet out. A little short, though. He's played so many minutes and played so well. He might be getting a little tired. There's Scott taking his time. Defended by Williams. Here's Hunt. He'll rise. Off the back iron, off the right side of the room. Here's Rodriguez. Nice dish. Down low to Walker. Nice. Too easy for Walker. Walker is so good inside the lane. He really takes his time. And once he decides to go, he moves very quickly. 14 minutes to go. A chance to go up north into the state tournament on the line here. Melvin floats it up. Too strong. Trying to grab his own. Rebound map of Harbor. Melvin looked like he threw that up. Thought he was going to get his own rebound. Here's Douglas. Down low to Walker again. Walker ties it up and has a chance to give the Seahawks the lead at the line. Excellent pick and roll right in the middle of the floor, so you really couldn't help like you wanted to. Walker took the contact and scored it. I think he has the last four buckets for uh, the Seahawks. Walker at the line shooting 69%. Gets it. Second lead of the ball game for the Seahawks. 13.30 to go. Here's DC from the elbow back out to Langston. Donje trying to find some space and gets slapped on his forearm. So Rodriguez charged with a foul. Huskies with four fouls, Seahawks now with two. DC will inbound. To Langston, down low to Melvin. Whistle blown on the floor before the shot. Tyler Mapp, the freshman forward. Got caught holding on to Melvin there. Yeah, we'd almost not want the call if you Mosley. Langston, oh well defended by Walker. Great contest by Walker. And Douglas soars to the rim with three Huskies to lay it in. Here's Scott. Well, what a collision between Scott and Rodriguez. Rodriguez is charged with the blocking foul. We could just feel the tension and the anxiety here inside Arena. Mm -hmm. A lot of chatter going on. <laughs> oh, and they say out of bounds as he had gathered to go up in the lane. What do we know? <laughs> I thought sure that would be a shooting foul. Lindsay will inbound. A lot of times people look at, the, hey, the, the, the uh, fouls are just the same, four and four, but it's where the foul is called to take advantage of uh, the bonus. DC down low to Langston. Langston puts it on the floor once. Oh, reverse lay-in by Langston. Wow. With the left. Excellent inbound play. Here's Rodriguez trying to find Walker. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by D.C. Corey Cofield will check back in as Noel Scott will check out for East L.A. 12 minutes, 44 seconds to go. Good job, good job. Well, we got some pushing and shoving going on. 
pushing and shoving. D.C. did a little acting, and the Harbor players are asking for a technical foul for flopping. Official talking to Rodriguez and D.C. They inbounded to Rodriguez. And the ball thrown away. That might be DC. Give credit to DC in the in, inside the mind of Rodriguez all of a sudden. Yeah, because Rodriguez has been playing the little man's game, getting up under the skin of Sanders and a few. So yeah, you never know how it affects the other guy until you put a little pressure on him. Huskies looking to take oh. back the lead, not so fast. Rodriguez with Acevedo riding shotgun, throws it up. Map comes up with it. Map goes up off the glass. Yeah. That's a great follow because there were two Huskies there and only one Husky. Rodriguez knocks the wing pass out of bounds. Now he goes back and gets in Demetrius face. You could tell by the body language of the Huskies that the Seahawks in the minds of the Huskies. Yeah, a little bit off, a little bit off kilter. This is what they do. This is what happened in the last game. They had a confrontation. So Seahawks don't mind hitting first because typically the second guy is always viewed as the instigator. On the clock, 12.04 to go. JT Langston going over to Lindsay, telling him, calm down. Referee said everyone has been warned. The next action is going to be a technical foul. Sanders will inbound to Cofield, way on top. Here's Lindsey trying to find some space. Goes to Langston, outside of Sanders. Gets it. Big shot, big shot. Tie ball game. Coach Mosley and the Huskies call timeout. 55 all, 11.52 to go. We'll stay on the air, Coach. Hey, if you're, if you're trying to get to the Elite Eight and say, hey, you could be tied with 11 minutes to go at home, you take it. And you really haven't played well. You know, uh, like I said, I think Harbors have, have shot their best shot, but they're a good team. You know, they're 25 and 4 as well. So uh, this is where you want to be. This is not a, uh, a team you're going to blow out and you're not going to uh, uh, just win this one by showing up. Exciting times inside E Arena. What a fun ball game to be part of. Thankful and grateful you could join us here on SportsNetUSA.net with so much to do in Southern California. If you've taken the time to join us, mm -hmm. we truly appreciate you. Right. And for those joining us all around the world and acro across the country, we thank you as well. First sold out crowd here ever <laughs> inside e Arena. Standing room only now. We're at max capacity and then some. I wonder if people are still waiting outside to get in. Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are, are tuned in. Yeah. Got to tune in. SportsNetUSA.net. Hey, you know, uh, we talk about the Huskies being in the Elite Eight so often, but uh, Tony Lowe's is no stranger. He took his team and... 2010, 2011. So you have a coach with experience. So this is going to be a, a win that is well earned for whoever gets it. Out of the timeout, Rodriguez will bring it up for the Seahawks. Left side to Douglas. Intercepted by Cofield. Huskies looking to take the lead. 11.30 to go. A little, a little Iverson motion here. Sanders. Oh, good strip and a whistle. Mm. A little pick and roll, he and uh, JT. But it was deflected by the Harbor defender, which caused Sanders to go back and foul. Both coaches, defensive coaches, are feeling great now because after the, the ATO, after timeout play, you always want to try and stop that first action. And, and both teams did that. 11 minutes, 15 seconds to go. Seahawk basketball. A chance to move up north into the state tournament. 
Here's Douglas, defended by Scott. Douglas driving, Wisso on the floor before the shot. Noel Scott charge there. 11.04 left. Six fouls to four fouls. Mm. The lob to Walker. Back to Douglas. Douglas! Great defense. Just a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. A little curl action there by Douglas. Finish high over Langston's hand. Scott for three. In and out. Rebound, Demetrius Douglas. Douglas finding map. Mm. Offensive foul on, on Harbor. Melvin took the hit, but he also took a little extra action as the uh, shooter came down and uh, Hit him in some soft tissue area. Leading the charge for East L.A., J.T. Langston with 13 points. Noel Scott with 12 for L.A. Harbor. Lewis Walker doing his work inside with 15 points. Demetrius Douglas with 12. Mm. Here's Lindsey. He'll bring it. 10.30 left. Here's Scott. Scott from 18. <laughs> nice pull up under control by Scott. Coach Mosley spread the floor that time and allowed the guards to work. Tie ball game once again for the fifth time in this ball game. Acevedo. Douglas too strong. Langston board. Ahead to Lindsay. Lindsay from the wing to the lane. Oh. Clutches and gets it off the glass. Oh, beautiful drive. He had to avoid Rodriguez and then go up and under and finish it really smooth. A little cross step, Euro step. 9.45 left. Chance of defense by the Husky faithful. To the corner, to map for three. High off the rim, Scott Board. Great challenge by Melvin. Made that a much difficult shot than it should have been. Lindsay guarded by Acevedo. To the corner to Scott. Oh. Down low to Langston. Great play calls. A little flex action from the weak side. Momentum all of a sudden has slowly shifted into the hands of the Huskies. Absolutely. Timeout. Harbor. Seahawks call timeout with 9-10 to go. Husky 61. That's how sometimes, I'm sorry. Seahawks 57 will step aside for a second here on the Huskies network on sportsnetusa.net. Back inside E-Arena, exciting ball game, playoff action here on SportsNetUSA.net, home of the Huskies. 61 to 57 Husky lead. Both head coaches, you could tell, a little bit nervous. Yeah, a little tense. You know, little a little tense. Yeah, as a coach, you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to get them too hyped up, but you don't want to show them that you're nervous. So you, you try to have a, a, a poker face, as you would say. Both coaches, both Carter Loza and Mosley, great poker faces right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Here's Douglas to the corner of the map. Too strong. Walker cleans it up. Seems like the Huskies are, are, are daring uh, Tyler Mapp to shoot the three. He's drilled a couple, but he's missed the last two. But they didn't clean up the defensive board. Noel Scott puts it on the floor twice, hands off to, to Lindsay. Lindsay through the contact, no, puts it up. Powers it through. What great strength by Lindsay. He was bumped and fouled on the first one. He didn't quit or pout. He went back and got it. 
Now he's at the line for the and one. His third personal foul. He's really Six stepped feet. up. Sanders not having his normal game, but the uh, advantage of having two point guards is really shown now the way Lindsey, but he could complete the three point play. Bringing it up is Demetrius Douglas, leading scorer of the Seahawks. He floats it up, and a whistle called by the officials against Cofield. Yeah, Cofield's a little late. He stepped in as uh, the, the, the offensive play had already left the ground and uh, didn't seem to be too happy about the call. On the clock, eight minutes, 20 seconds to go for a chance to punch their ticket into the Elite Eight, also known as the State Championship Tournament. Yeah. Oh, what a special event it is, you know, because you get coaches from all over the country to come see, you know, the National uh, JUCO uh, Tournament is on a different weekend, so the California kids get a time to shine on their own. So it's a great opportunity. First one good by Douglas. He's an 80% sh shooter from the line. Cofield steps off. John Sanders, the D1 commit to Coastal Carolina, back on the floor. That was Cofield's fourth foul, so Mosley has to be careful with him. I know he'd like to have him on the floor to finish. Second one, good. Lindsay will bring it up for the Huskies. Eight minutes, 15 seconds left. That's Sanders. Back on top to Scott. To the baseline to Langston. Dribble oh, drive boy. baseline through the contact. Can't get it. Oh, but man. Langston will get two. What a great move. 15 feet out on the baseline. He squared up. Little jabs that baseline and he split the defenders. Came into the lane and hung and drew the contact. Uh, really moving well for a guy that size. That's really a guard's move. A lot of, a lot of patience too by the Huskies. Uh, I like this. I like this. Uh, this lineup with the two guards and Melvin, who really is a fourth guard. This is the time where free throw shooting really counts. These last six minutes can determine how you play the last part of the game. We mentioned it earlier. Langston will need a big game if the Huskies will escape and move on to the state tournament. 7.45 to go. Down low to Walker. Oh, losing dude. it. Slipping. Scott spinning. <laughs> Scott. Being chased from behind, Rodriguez oh, nearly pickpocketing him. Two but of the most energetic guys on the court. Uh, Scott spun at halftime, was a little off balance, but Rodriguez recovered to chase down the player. Here's Melvin reversing it. Great inbound play from Coach Mosley. 67-61, 7.20 left. Rodriguez to the corner. Driving oh. in is Williams. What an acrobatic attempt by Williams. He's got to love the effort, right, Coach? Yeah, he came from the corner with a head of steam. Langston was at the basket. He split him somehow and tried to reverse it on the other side, but drew the contact for two shots. Huskies come in as the number three seed in the SoCal Regional. L.A. Harbor, the number six seed. The third foul on Langston. So the, fi the fouls are mounting up. Both teams still in a single bonus. Husky with eight and the uh, visitors visiting Seahawks with seven. Donje will sit out as DC checks in. Ray Williams will step off. And look to the Seahawks to apply a little full court pressure here. Amir Moore into the ball game for the Seahawks. Yeah. 
67-63. Seahawks got to get someone in the middle of the floor. To the corner to Langston, way back out to Sanders. Sanders to a cutting Langston. You could tell <laughs> Langston was just trying to power, yeah. power drive it in. He had thoughts of a poster there, but Walker came across on the weak side and met him. Yeah. And uh, just threw him off enough where he couldn't finish the play. 7.02 to go, coach. No, it was a great find by Sanders who penetrated. And, uh, man, when you get a guy like JT, you can throw it to. What a luxury. First one good by Langston. That's the other thing that makes the player of the year of the South Coast North such a great uh, player. He's great for the free throw line in clutch situations. Oh, did I jinx him? He missed the second <laughs> one. Ooh. Jump ball. Oh, a foul called against Caleb. Now, the, the offensive player is holding his eye, but it wasn't because of the tie-up. It was on the rebound. He and another player came together. And he's a little groggy. He's staggering over toward the bench. You can hear the boos from the crowd. Six minutes, 59 seconds to go. Either he got fouled or he's a great actor. <laughs> That's not the shooter. So Amir Moore will be on the line. Rodriguez walked to the line as if he was going to take the free throws. You could see Rodriguez barking into the ear of Sanders and Langston. <laughs> a lot of smack talk here. <laughs> yeah, I love his moxie. He's, he's quite a player. He's quite a player. Fearless. Yeah. yeah. He's physical and really cagey, you know. He doesn't have the blow-by speed, but he knows how to change the pace. For Thank those you. tuned in, we apologize for the shaking <laughs> camera. Husky fans into it. Playoff oh. atmosphere, no good. Sanders will bring it up with 6.55 to go. Caleb fakes, step back three. DC, no. Collision Ooh. on the far sideline. Wow. That was obvious contact there, but they allowed him to play on. I'm glad no real collision happened because Sanders. 68-63 coming off is Amir Moore. Back on for the Seahawks, Tyler Mapp. Sanders will follow Rodriguez into the front court with 6.40 to go. Rodriguez picked up his dribble. Walker, well defended by Langston. Back out to Williams. Williams carving through, high off the glass, no. Mm. Possession arrow in favor of the Huskies with 6.26 to go. Two very quick jump ball calls, the last two possessions, but I think what the referees are trying to do is uh, knock down the conflict we've had these last few. So the so. Thankful and grateful you could join us here on SportsnetUSA.net, home of the Huskies, and it's all brought to you by NutriShop of Monterey Park, your sports nutrition, weight loss, health, and vitamin experts. Also brought to you by Wilshire Coin of Santa Monica, experts in all things precious metals. We buy gold, silver, jewelry, coins, numismatics, and rare coins. Wilshire Coin of Santa Monica, forged by trust. 6.26 to go, Dan Gudino alongside ELAC women's head coach, ELAC legend Bruce Turner in a 68 to 63 ball game. Almost had a timeout, a three minute timeout just to decide 
<laughs> who the foul was on. They finally settled on Walker, number 31, which is his fourth personal. Puts him in a tough situation having to guard JT down the stretch. First free throw was good. Harbor fans trying to make themselves known. Oh, well, they've been strong all night. Now the Husky fans are standing up. Acevedo checks in. Out of the game, Tyler Mapp for the Seahawks. Listen in, everybody. Mm. Douglas is wide open from about 30, but came up a little short. Now the 1 2 2 is back on for Harbor. The Huskies break it pretty easily. Six minutes left. Here's Scott to Sanders. Ooh, Sanders able to save it into the hands of DC, who finds Melvin. Good assist by DC. Wow, very fortunate there. Sanders with a great save. 72-63 ball game, nine point lead. Biggest lead of the game in this second half for the Huskies. Acevedo fakes, back out to Rodriguez who launches it high off the rim, being fought for, loose ball, recovered by Douglas, throws oh, it up man. short. Melvin, rebound, stripped by Rodriguez. Acevedo launching the three. Wow, great play by Rodriguez to come in and get that ball out of Melvin's hand, who seems to be a little shaken up. Kicked it out for three. What a fun ball game here this evening inside Arena. It's do or die. Win, advance, lose, stay home. Melvin gets rejected, recovers, loose ball. DC turns it over on the far sideline with five minutes to go. 72 66. Wow. Douglas is playing. Great, he did an excellent job. Excellent job defending Melvin. Seahawks head coach Tony Carter Loza calls timeout with five minutes to go. 72 for the Huskies, 66 for the Seahawks here on Sportsnet USA.net, home of the Huskies. Five minutes left for a chance to enter the state tournament, the Elite Eight. Sweet 16 game, the SoCal Regional final continues here on Sportsnet USA. Huskies with a 72-66 lead. Dan Gudino here alongside Bruce Turner. Sold out crowd, standing room only. The biggest crowd ever for a Huskies men's basketball game here tonight. Now this is the time you'll see the best play. Here's Rodriguez from the wing. Ball gets poked. Scott comes up with it. Oh. Football pass ahead to Langston. Langston, Tomahawk slam! Huskies 74. Seahawks 66. Acevedo back out to, to Douglas. Oh, great defense. Douglas from the baseline, reverses it, just throws it up a prayer into the hands of Walker. Walker throws up another prayer. Last touch by wow. the Seahawks. Husky basketball. And last play, Langston made the deflection, and he was rewarded with the kick out. Highlight dunk, just in case DC was hanging around in case he needed help finishing. Here's Sanders. Down low to Langston. Langston is fouled on the floor, not on the shot, mm. with 4.12 to go. Mm. Langston with 20 points. Noel Scott with 14 points. 
off the bench, Gregory Melvin with nine. On the other side, it's the dynamic duel of Walker and Douglas. Walker with 17 points, Douglas with 16. And off the bench, Jalen Williams with 12. Williams to me has been the surprise uh, factor because he really wasn't in the scouting report. Good and, point. And uh, he's come and played some tremendous minutes tonight. And a very athletic young man. Huskies slowly pulling away with 4.12 to go. Langston with a friendly roll on the free throw line. 10 point lead, biggest lead of the game <laughs> in the second half for the Huskies. Do we have scores around the SoCal Regional, Coach? Yes, Ventura College. 79-78 against Citrus. With two minutes to go. Pasadena with 11 seconds to go is down 61-58 to San Bernardino with 11 seconds. And Fullerton, with a minute to go, is up 75-69 on San Diego City. Acevedo able to complete the three-point play. There goes Sanders. Mm. This is Scott with 350 to go. Good strip by Acevedo. Acevedo lays it up, lays it in. Coach Mosley will call timeout with 3.44 to go. Five point lead for the Huskies, 76-71. This is Sportsnet USA.net, home of the Huskies. Lots of basketball left. 3.44 to go, and we get an update from up north. Up north, the potential opponent for this game, San Jose City College versus Chabot City College. San Jose is up 77-66 with two minutes left. That will be the uh, opponent of this regional outcome. L.A. Harbor defense harassing the Huskies. D.C. will bring it up. Oh, we got an offensive foul. A push off by D.C. Seventy-six, seventy-one. D.C. will step off. John Sanders, the veteran, back onto the floor. Three thirty-five to go. Five-point lead for the Huskies. Wow. Seahawks playing the role of road warrior here. There's Rodriguez, defended by Lindsey. Handing off to Douglas. Douglas floats it up. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was way too low. Wow, that's a goaltending. That ball was short by two feet. Wow, what a call. Terrible call. Langston looked like he stole the basketball, not goaltended yeah. there. What ball, do we know? It was coming down, but it had no chance to hit the rim. I think it was deflected out of his hand, and uh, that's a tough call. Although this one two, two half court trap is bothering our Huskies. We're picking the ball up, and uh, they're picking the ball up in uh, bad trap area. Huskies losing their cool. Scott was just hit with a technical foul and a dead ball. Wow. So he needs to go. So 
not only are you going to get two free throws, but the Harbor College Seahawks are going to retain possession in a three-point game. Douglas steps to the line. First shot was good. That's Demetrius Douglas who will get another technical shot. One point ball game. And they lose possession. What a turn of events. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be POI, point of interruption. So the, normally the Huskies would have retained it, but they changed the rule two years ago. High anxiety, nervous times. 2.55 to go, ladies and gentlemen. Back outside the Walker. Walker nearly gets stripped from behind. Rodriguez loses it. Oh. Rodriguez gets back up. Great pass. Nearly a half court violation. Seahawks back in the lead. 77 76. Sanders step back. Rebound. Melvin through the contact. Can't get it. A chance to tie it or take the lead for the Huskies. Great. That's what the Huskies do best. Go get the offensive rebound. Melvin pulling one out out of nowhere. Kind of an ill advised shot for Sanders. A little too quick. Melvin was not available for their previous matchup in which L.A. Harbor won. Here a chance for Melvin to make himself known. Melvin at the line for the Huskies. Shooting two. Gets the first one. Tie ball game. Second one, good. Huskies back in the lead, back and forth, a heavyweight matchup. <laughs> yes, hey, and no time for faint of heart here. The loose balls, the offensive rebounds are gonna be just like a street fight. 2.10 to go. Acevedo drives to Walker, oh, well defended block. by Langston. Fourth block of the game by the SEC North MVP. Under two minutes to go. Sanders drives. Loose ball being fought for. Langston comes up with it. Possession arrow in favor of. And the hell ball is called. Husky ball. Yeah. That was so, an outstanding drive by uh, Sanders. He had the shot, but he saw JT underneath for a better look. Sanders will trigger. Down low to Cofield. Cofield can't get it. Tries to put it back up. Ball being fought for. <laughs> Possession, Seahawks with a minute 47 to go. Great challenge by uh, Harbor's defender. Made hold, uh, Kofi a double clutch. And just missed it. Acevedo of the Seahawks orchestrating the offense. Douglas drives and gets it. Harbor up one with a minute 28 to go. This is Lindsey to Sanders. Back to Lindsey, driving, left hand, short, put back, no, Walker rebound. A lot of contact there, they let him play. Lindsey thought he was bumped. 65 seconds. Who will move up north to the Elite Eight? Douglas to the corner to Acevedo. Back to Douglas. Long Deep one. three. In it. In. Rattles it home. 49 seconds to go. Three point, wow. Four point lead for the Seahawks. The long three. Not much you can do to defend that one. Fearless. Harbor crowd is on his feet. Got 
the referees are saying it's not a timeout. I don't know what they... What's they, going on? So it wasn't a timeout? It wasn't a timeout. I think uh, Douglas said something to a fan over there. And uh, I think they just wanted to restore order. So it'll be Husky Ball baseline. So the clock was adjusted to 51.8. Plenty of time for uh, the Huskies to make a, a move, but they've got to attack the rim. Sanders back to Melvin. Huskies will have to hurry here. Excellent D. Sanders to the cup and one. Outstanding drive. No high pick and roll action. He turns the corner and goes to the hole. Scores the basket. Potential three point play. Probably took a little longer than Coach Mosley would like, but you had to ensure that you scored at, in that possession. 31. The big guy has played. Uh, outstanding game. Mr. Walker has fouled out on that last play. And Tyler Mapp will replace him, number four. That might play to an advantage for the Huskies. Harbor will call timeout. We'll stay on the air. So John Sanders, when we come back to the come back to play after the timeout, will be at the line to cut the deficit to one. Mm -hmm. In this situation, if you're the Huskies, what do you do? Well, either way, I think you have to have some type of full court pressure so that it limits the possession. Um, if it goes, a lot of coaches will wait until they get across half court so the sideline and the half court line help you so you don't have to scramble all over the court. But there will be some type of trap action going on if the ball gets near the sideline. Got to Harbor. Harbor has to space the court so you don't get the trap and then attack because they can't think the game is over. They have to go as if they're they're down because the shot clock is a factor too. They could potentially get the ball back with 5.8 seconds to go. Got to love how the L.A. Harbor faithful have traveled yeah. here to Monterey Park, California. Right. They've made themselves known. Oh yeah, great support. Huskies not. Out of it yet, mm -hmm. nor are the LA Harbor Seahawks. Right. Hey, it comes down to it. You know, in, in, in practice, you always say, get one stop, make the free throw after you're dead tired. So this is all in preparation. This is what we do all year long make the free throw, get a stop. Out of the timeout, John Sanders will try to complete the three point play. A little bit of a stoppage right now. Officiating crew checking in with the score book. They're probably checking fouls. So they put an extra timeout on the board for East LA. Three timeouts to one left for LA Harbor. Sanders trying to complete the three point play. Got it. Get it. No full court pressure here. Ah. Rodriguez calls time out. Does that advance the ball? Cannot advance, and he only has two seconds to get the ball across half, half court when they come back. Glad you're here, coach. <laughs> the key is when a team is good at pressing, that means it's working in practice. So they'll turn it over, too, if you press them back. So that was a good, you know, they, they took the ball out of Rodriguez's hand, who's just been kind of floating up the court and made him make a decision. If and when L.A. Harbor gets into the front court, are you looking for a foul or are you looking to play off the clock? I think they'll play it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll play it out. They'll probably try to get one of the lesser guys to drive it, like on the last possession. 
make him make a decision. You don't want Rodriguez making the decision if you're the Huskies, and you don't want Douglas making the decision. So Walker's out the game, so you only have to worry about those two guys. Make someone else make a decision, and you can live with that. Go get the rebound. 27.4 to go. They get a new 10? New 10? Okay, the referee is instructed me that because he called timeout, he gets a new 10 seconds in the backcourt. Unlike the women's game, we had a couple of uh, violations like that. Twenty-seven point four seconds to go. Who will move up north? Rodriguez into the front court, passes it to Acevedo. A difference of about five seconds. Game clock to shot clock. Oh, oh, near turnover. Rodriguez with six seconds on the shot clock. Stolen. A turnover ahead to Lindsey. Lindsey puts it up. Does it count? No foul on the floor. Does it oh, count? Man. It happened on the floor. He called it no on the floor. No shot. 6.5 seconds. Two, Seahawks 82. Two Huskies shots. remain with 81. I was like, it was a breakaway play, so Lindsey will have two shots. Um, the foul was deemed to be on the floor. The pressure of the Huskies got to the Seahawks there. Yeah. Acevedo almost made a turnover here on this end, and then when it went to Rodriguez, put the two long bodies on him, and he went up in the air and threw the ball back, or Scott undercut it and stole it. Lindsey thought he had an N1 coming. The referee said, no, sir, got to go to the line and earn him. Lindsey ties it up. First one good. A chance to take the lead and possibly win it here. No timeouts left for Harbor. No timeouts left. Tie game. Lindsay steps off the half circle. Taking his time. Just like practice, right? That's right. Except with the sold out crowd. <laughs> off the mark. 5.5 to go. Whoa. Seahawk basketball. Whoa. 5.5 to go. A chance to win it for the Seahawks. Huskies will apply the press. Oh. Out of bounds call. Scott forced it. Turnover. Douglas was driving down the sideline. Dribble the ball out of bounds. Coach Mosley calls timeout. He'll draw something up. Don't go anywhere. A chance for the Huskies to win it. 82 all with 2.4 to go. Sportsnetusa.net, home of the Huskies. What a ball game. <laughs> oh, man, what excitement. You know, they played such great defense in the last six, 16 seconds. I think that's the most turnovers they've had consecutively since the first two minutes and a quick timeout by Coach Loza. This is what you call a heart attack game. Oh, man. You know, it's, it's a little less uh, because it's a tie score. But, man. 2.4 to go. Scott will be the trigger. He'll inbound right in front of the Husky bench. Douglas could have been called for a technical already, but the, the referee decides to talk to him. Every time Cofield moves, he bumps him, so he's looking for a retaliation. You don't want to put anybody at the line at this point, too. 
No, you're basically giving up the game. Cofield did a good job holding his poise. Here we go. Everybody coaching, only two guys getting paid to do so. Straight into the Langston JT. puts it on the floor, puts it up. He's short. We're going to overtime. Hey, if I'm the Huskies, I don't mind overtime. At one point, they were down four yeah. with about yeah. 10 seconds to go. Absolutely. It saved their season. Uh, it was a good it was a good play. I think Langston wish he could have caught it with one foot in the lane. He caught it about a, maybe two feet outside the lane, just a little bit out of his jump hook range. We'll play five more minutes. Five more minutes to go to the state playoffs. Dan Gudino here alongside women's basketball head coach and ELAC legend Bruce Turner. We've got an extra period of play here. And we've got an update here. Up north, the San Jose City Jaguars have clinched, and they're in 82-68 decision over Chabot. West Valley College put away Las Positas, 88-75. And boy, you got a bar barn burner. The Citrus has come back in overtime to go up two on Whoa. Ventura with 30 seconds left. And Fullerton is the final 77-74 over San Diego City. Pasadena goes down to San Bernardino, 63-58. San Francisco is in the lead eight again, 87-47. And Sequoias and Redwoods are just eight minutes into the ball game. Must have had a late start. Langston wins the tip. Husky possession to start the extra period. Overtime here on Sportsnet USA. Back out to Sanders. 4-3. Short. Sanders grabs his own. Sanders looking for a foul. Turnover. Rodriguez. Down low to Map. Map can't handle it. Wow. What a pass. Rodriguez doing a great job keeping everybody involved. Map was probably in a little bit of a hurry to score it. Four minutes, 30 seconds to go. What a ball game. Thankful and grateful you could join us here on another installment of Huskies basketball. Sanders in the corner. We'll launch one. Gets it! Three-pointer. Well, he's feeling he's so intense right now. Rodriguez. Woo. That's Douglas. Deep bomb. No. Langston rebound. Is this where the Huskies pull away? You would think the Huskies would go inside with Walker having fouled out of the game. I think JT and Melvin would have the uh, advantage. Here's Scott. 3.45 to go. Lindsey on the wing. Lindsey puts it on the floor with the left hand. Switching to right. Five on the clock. Here's Cofield. Cofield will rise. Friendly roll for Cofield and the Huskies. 87-82. Rodriguez spins to the corner to Douglas. Dribble drive baseline. Dumps it off to Map. Map in front of the rim. Excellent job of drawing kick. They do it to perfection. No rest for the weary. We're oh. playing overtime. Sanders back out to Lindsay. Lindsay puts it on the floor with the right hand, bulldozes in, does it count? No, official waves it off, <laughs> happen on the floor. 301 left, 87-84. I'm laughing because you know, certain officials have certain things they call <laughs> this official. He's not giving up very many and ones. He was the same guy that uh, waved it off the last time. We'll say it again for the second <laughs> time. Zebras, no best. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, just got to credit these guys playing 45 minutes. Rodriguez hasn't been out for a rest at all. Uh, just showing his great toughness and stamina. Hey, hey, and uh, Black Black outstanding efforts by both teams. 
Lindsay extends the lead at the line. Four point ball game with 3.01 to go. This is where the depth of the Husky actually has kicked in. All time, the Huskies here at home, 81 and nine. Out of those nine losses, two have come in the playoffs. Wow. Well, they definitely pulled a miracle out of their hat to stay alive in this one. And the defense did it for them. 2.50 to go. Mm. Douglas, short. Scott soars in for the board. Here comes the trap from Lindsay. Finding room to the baseline. Cofield gets it. <laughs> Coach Mosley and the Huskies will try to strangle the momentum, and they call timeout. 2.30 to go, 91-84, SportsNetUSA.net, home of the Huskies. Huskies with a decent 91-84 lead in overtime. 2.30 to go now, that was called winning time. So you're not looking to score a patch of average here. This is all about winning. Solid fundamental plays. Rodriguez with a head of steam. Skip pass, far side, that's Acevedo, left alone, splashes that one. Still alive are the Seahawks, 2.15 to go. Great play call coming out of the timeout. And the execution was even better. Give. Cofield for the lob. Inside, the connection, Sanders to Cofield. Acevedo again at the corner, nearly tries it again. They do it again. Short this time. Rebound by Matt. Mm. Behind the back to Acevedo. Acevedo kicks out. Williams, three, air balls it. Oh man, that might do it. Still some time for the Seahawks though. A minute 30 to go. Good job by Scott settling down the offense. Near steal. A foul will be called against Lindsay, so a turnover. That might be a spark for the Seahawks here. I don't know. Uh, Seahawks are, I mean, the Huskies are standing in the corner waiting for the trap and trying to go over the top instead of ball faking and going through. And Harbor is really good at stealing the ball. Kind of worried about after the game. Lots of barking back and forth between fans. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's all good nature. Cofield's dad is excitable, <laughs> but I don't think he means any harm. First free throw, good. Yeah. A minute 24 left. Yeah. Referee looked at me and gave me a wink. I wiped his brow. I didn't think he was going to have to work this hard tonight. <laughs> Cofield saves it into the hands of Sanders. Oh, what a great rebound that was. Sanders loses the, the dribble. Ahead to Douglas. Oh. Langston with the block. No, a foul. Wow. How, how many fouls is that on, on Langston? That will do it for Langston. Wow, that's a very tough call. It was very, the angle that the, the center position guy had was kind of behind the play. I think he should have let the trail take that one. They had a good angle. He really met him up top. Both players. Very tough call. Very tough call. Langston 
asking the cameraman, did you get that? <laughs> Maybe it was it. Sanders will step off. Did not sub it for Maybe it was his fourth. Oh, I had it as number five. Oh, that's good news for Husky fans. Both he and Melvin challenged that play. Maybe they gave it to Mel Melvin. But the Seahawks are still fighting. High tension. No good. Melvin rebound. Here's Scott. Football pass ahead. Intercepted. Driving is Williams. Two-point ball game. Lindsey finally getting into the front court. Here's Scott with 47 seconds to go, and a foul will be called on Acevedo. Coach, Mo, Coach Loza didn't like that play because now you're only down two, so you really didn't have to foul. Could have just played really good defense there, put the pressure on the Huskies to score. Noel Scott having a conversation with one of the officials. Here comes Lindsey. Lindsay as well voicing his opinion. I hope it's a <laughs> positive conversation that they're having with the official. A little frustrated. They think they've uh, not been rewarded with the amount of contact on the dribbler, which, uh, you know, it's questionable. 45.9 to go. Everyone standing. First one, good. He used all the rim, as my coach used to say. Use it all, baby. <laughs> they don't ask you how, just how many. My colleague here, Bruce Turner, an alum of L.A. Harbor. Alum, L.A. Harbor, 1988. Great coach, Jim White. Hey, coach, I know you've been having some problems. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah. But uh, I use a lot of his principles. Friendly roll, 95-91. Huskies lead, 43 seconds to go. Williams drives, short. Lindsey taps it out of bounds. Great effort by Scott to cut him off and make him change that shot. 32.9 seconds to go. Shot clock remains at 30 after the rebound. Vincent Rodriguez having a heck of a ball game will inbound to Acevedo. Oh, oh he steps on the sideline, turnover mm. late in overtime. Tough play. 31.3 seconds remain. Husky basketball. Dangerous pass. Last touch by Jalen Williams of the Seahawks. Huskies retain possession. Huskies call timeout with 30.6 seconds to go. Huskies 95. Seahawks of LA Harbor 91. This is Sportsnet USA.net, home of the Huskies. Bruce saw that one before last year, didn't he? Stand up, stand up. That's true. Thirty point six seconds to go and a chance to move up north. Huskies trying to squeeze through this one. Be very careful here not to run, to screen each other because that's the easiest way to get an offensive foul. Good job by Coach Mosley just spreading everyone out. Dangerous pass. 
Lindsay fighting through the press. He gets fouled at midcourt. Rodriguez guilty there of the foul. Hmm. Lindsay at the line, shooting two. Lindsay gets it. So good to see Lindsay get another chance. I know he felt badly about not hitting the game winner, but he's played excellent in this overtime. Splashing the second one, 97-91, 25 seconds to go. Rodriguez going coast to coast, kicking it out. Here's Williams for three. Short on that attempt, Cofield, rebound. Scott gets fouled by Rodriguez. That will do it for Rodriguez. That's his fifth. Oh, he played an outstanding game. He played every second of the game. Outstanding game for this young man. That leaves 15.1 seconds to go, and it's an impressive game, a valiant effort by Rodriguez. Right from Bishop Abmat High School. He's a great leader on their team. You know, they, a lot of guys will drive just to say, I drove it, coach, but he makes you think he's going to shoot it, which allows uh, you to get a better shot on the kickout. 99, 91, 13 seconds to go as Scott taps it out of bounds to the far sideline. Seahawk basketball. No reason to foul or do anything silly here. Coach John Mosley calls timeout with 11.2 seconds to go in overtime. This was a great challenge. Well needed challenge for the Huskies. Not only the physical part, but the mental part. How can you stay in the game when a guy like Rodriguez is getting under your skin, when the calls you've been getting didn't go your way, and still power through it to come back and try to win it at the end. This is great growth, great growth. When there was about 20 seconds left in the second half, I, we couldn't help but think the Husky season might be over. Yeah, yeah. But the Husky defense stepped up, created turnovers, and give credit to the Huskies at the free throw line. Absolutely. They did just what we thought. Instead of chasing them all over the court, when you have quicker guys, you let them come to half court, so you've cut the court in half. Now your length and your speed and your athleticism is doubled, and they got the steal that they needed. Now here, you just let the time expire. Don't make contact with anybody. Go celebrate. 10 seconds to go. He'll launch a three, short. Cofield, rebound. Huskies will dribble it out. Huskies advance to the state tournament. They have entered the Elite Eight. This one is over. Great job. 99-91, a final over the LA Harbor Seahawks. The Seahawks season is over. They finish with a 25 and five record. The Huskies stay undefeated at home. This is the last home game of the season. At home, they finish 10 and 0. They move on to an overall 26 and three record and will most likely face Shabbat. Uh, actually, San Jose. Excuse me, San Jose. San Jose B. Shabbat. Yeah. And uh, the two and the three seeds should meet in that quarterfinal on Thursday. What a ball game. Oh, man. I think everybody's dream. You know, no, no matter which side you came on, you thought your team was going to win it. We thought, we thought they had it in control, and it changed hands. The score changed uh, about six times in the uh, last two minutes. Little dancing out there, they dancing a jig. Huskies move on to the state tournament. Hmm. 
Their first game will be Thursday, March 9th mm. at West Hills College in Lemoore, California. This one a final 99 to 91. We're so thankful and grateful for everybody who tuned in to this overtime thriller. Yeah, yeah this, this was a, uh, it's a thriller for the fans, but the, the players and coaches feel even better because of the prep preparation they've gone through throughout the year. And you know, you can only uh, tell the players, hey, you gotta be ready for this and that. But this was that kind of game where uh, all your work, it, it tested every part of your preparation. A valiant effort by the L.A. Harbor Seahawks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. These guys, are, uh, I know they're, they're going to miss Rodriguez and uh, Williams, but they've got six freshmen coming back. And... Uh, you know, add a few pieces, they should be right back in the mix. Would like to get head coach John Mosley for an interview, but looks like he's headed to the locker room. He's, he's exhausted. <laughs> yeah, he can't wait to get out of his suit coat. Uh, so we won't bring on coach John Mosley. He went back to the, to the locker room. Yeah, Coach, outstanding job by Mosley. If there was one thing that the Huskies did so well in this ball game, what is it? Stayed with it. Stayed with it. You know, because they're so used to getting out and playing their kind of guy in open court game, but to stay within the framework of the game plan, and then at the end, at the end, be able to use their their defense and their length to get over the hump. Great job. It was really a patient game by them. What's that one thing they need to change immediately if they expect to gotta find themselves the in the Final Four, Coach? Sorry, got to handle the press better. And not only just break the press, they got to attack and score to make them pay. Uh, too many turnovers trying to throw it over the top in the press. That'll do it for us here on SportsNetUSA.net. We're exhausted. <laughs> Thanks for letting me ride with you. A 99-91 to 91 overtime victory. This will be our last game here on SportsNetUSA.net as broadcast rights are owned by somebody else up north. We appreciate everybody who has tuned in every single game here on SportsNetUSA.net, the home of the Huskies, for Ed Ford, for Sirwin D. Haynes, <laughs> Noah Alvarez, Rashawn Haylock, Albert Robles, Bruce Turner, I'm Dan Gudino. Truly appreciate everyone. Good night. <laughs>